So I wanted to go wireless with my headset. The only issue is I didn't realize how difficult this task would be when pairing with my Go XLR. The specific headset that I got was a Logitech Pro X wireless gaming headset, which also connects to your PC using a USB dongle, which I have come to learn the Go XLR does not necessarily like all that much. This video to clarify is for those people who are using a Bluetooth or a USB dongle to connect their wireless headset, not, not a wireless headset that has a pre-designated preamp. There's a video that's already for that, that TC Helicon already made themselves, which I'll link below if you have a preamp with your wireless headphones. So if you have something like AirPods, Bose headsets, anything like that that connect via Bluetooth, this method will work, as well as you have a headset like me, like the Logitech ones that use a USB dongle to connect, this video is gonna be perfectly for you. Not saying that you can't also connect your preamp using the method that I'm gonna show, it's just that if you're gonna have a preamp, you're gonna to wanna to do the other video to get the best connection possible for that wireless headset. That being said, after scouring the internet for hours trying to figure out how to pair my headset to the Go XLR with no latency, I finally found the solution. And because no one else out there has made this a video discussing it, I want to be the first to help anyone out there that has been in the same boat as I was in a couple days ago. Okay, so first things first, let's discuss everything you're going to need to make this pairing work. You will need a Go XLR or Go XLR Mini, obviously, your wireless headset, obviously, a 3.5 millimeter jack to 3.5 millimeter jack, meaning there's a jack on both ends of the cable. And lastly, a GLI or a ground loop insulator. We'll discuss this later on in the video on why you're going to need this. All the links to the items that I use in the video will be in the description below in case you need any of these. Okay, so first things first, we take our 3.5 millimeter jack and plug that into the headphone port on your Go XLR. If you have the full size Go XLR, it'll be on the back and on the Go XLR mini, it's on the front. Both will have the green ring around it to indicate that it's the headphone jack. Side note, and completely unnecessary, I bought a 3.5 millimeter jack that has a 90 degree bend in the cable so it doesn't stick a light year off the Go XLR mini and the cable's flat so I can route it underneath for a cleaner look. This is literally just in case you like a clean look. I wouldn't worry about this if you don't care and you just want to all get it all hooked up. Okay, from here, we're gonna take the other end of the 3.5 millimeter jack and plug it into the female header on the GLI. Then take the cable from the other end of the GLI and plug this into the line in port on the back of your PC. It should be a dark blue color and obviously it should say line in. Then lastly, and the most obvious step, plug in your Go XLR. If you have the full Go XLR size, I believe it requires a wall outlet to power, but if you have the mini, just plug that USB into the back of your computer and you're all set to go. Okay, you're all good with the hardware portion and setting all the hardware up, but now we gotta edit the settings on your PC so you're actually able to hear the audio through your wireless headset. From here, go down to the right hand side of your PC and right click on that little speaker and then click open sound settings. Set your output to system TC Helicon Go XLR or Go XLR Mini, and then set your input to chat mic TC Helicon Go XLR or Go XLR Mini. This is just to get the audio routed properly. At this point, you will still not be able to hear any audio though. So to fix that, click on the sound control panel just to the right and navigate to the recording tab on the top. You should now see a line in option as one of the recording options. From here, just right click on the line in and click on properties, then navigate to the listen tab. From here, change playback through this device to your wireless headset. Mine's gonna say Logitech Wireless. And then this is the most important part. Make sure you click on the option that says listen to this device. If you do not have this checked, you will not hear anything. But that's it, you should now be all done. Now, if you're still struggling and can't hear anything out of your headphones, then there's two things that could be happening. First, make sure all your audio sample rates are the same. To do this, tab over to the advanced tab and make sure the format for all of the outputs that you have are from the same source. I have all mine set to two channel 24 bit at 48,000 Hertz. The second issue you may have is you may have multiple line in ports that appear on your PC. So just to fix this, go through each of those line ins until you find the right one that gives you the right audio output. And that's the two major things that you'll probably may experience if you're still not hearing audio. But all right, now I wanna cover a couple of concerns or questions that you may have regarding the wireless features. The first is why I'm using the GLI. Without this device, I hear a hum or a buzz noise out of my headphones. And that sounds like this. What this device does is ground the signal and only lets the clean signals through. One concern to this is that people will say it'll make your audio sound worse, but trust me, I have no issue and the audio sounds exactly the same as it did before, except without the annoying hum. Now, you may not get this hum and you don't need the GLI, you will have to test and see, but I had the issue, so I had to have one. 
The second concern is if you think there will be a latency issue between your headphones and the audio. This isn't the case. The audio I hear is the exactly the same before the Go XLR. I have no additional latency. The reason for this is because you have changed nothing with your headset. The timing between your headset and the PC is the same. The only difference is the time it takes for the signal to travel from the headphone jack on your Go XLR to the line in on your back of your PC. But because it's directly connected with the cable, the signal travels instantly, then that signal is then listened to through the settings we set up earlier. Just wanted to clear that air up in case you were like wondering if, if there's gonna be additional latency. So then it all just comes down to how fast your actual headset can communicate back from your PC back to you, which with the Logitech, it has a light speed go wireless, which is a really, really fast connection. So I've never had any latency issues with it. But yeah, I just wanted to clear the air for these two issues just in case you guys had any concerns. Still leave your concerns in the comments if you have any others. But after all that, I really do hope this video helped you guys. Like I said, I haven't seen a guide with all the specifics in one place, so I wanna make this. If it helped, don't forget to subscribe and support the channel and come watch the Twitch stream sometime. But all right guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Later.